different directions. One question based on these directions. Now, what is information here? A person starts walking from his home, from his home towards his office. He walks for 20 meters towards west. Now, let us take this is the starting point of this person A, and this is his home from here, from this place. First, he traveled how many meters? He walks 20 meters towards west, and this will be towards west, and he walks for 20 meters. Then, after walking for 20 meters towards west, he turns 90 degrees right hand side. He turns towards his right hand side by 90 degrees and walks for how many meters? And walks for 10 meters. After traveling 10 meters, then again, then taking a 90 degrees left hand side, he walks for another 10 meters. From here, he turns towards his left hand side and by 90 degrees and travel for and walks for 10 meters. He then walks for 20 meters after taking 90 degrees right hand side. From here, he turns to his right hand side and traveled for 20 meters. And finally, again turning 90 degrees to his right, he walks for 30 meters to reach the office. From this place, he turns towards his right hand side and traveled for how many meters? 30 meters towards his right hand side to reach his office. A is his home and B is the office. Then the question is about in which direction, how far and in which direction is the house from the home, isn't it? B is the office, B is the office and A is the home. Now B is in, now what is the distance between these two here? Now if you observe here, the vertical distance, now the horizontal distance, this is 20 and this will be 10. 20 plus 10 is how much? 20 plus 10 is 30 meters. And the total distance is how much? 30 meters towards north, towards west and this is 30 towards east. And the horizontal distance 30 minus 30 has become 0. As the horizontal distance has become 0, now we are left with only the vertical distance. Yes, tell me what is the total vertical distance here? This is 20 towards north and 10 towards north. Hence, 10 plus 20, that is both these two are towards north, hence in total 30 meters towards north is the answer. And it is given choice, 30 meters north, choice 3. The office is 30 meters north to the, from his home. Question number 66. Then question number 67 onwards, 67 to 71. These questions are based on syllogisms, okay? Now question number 67 to 71. Now question number 67. What is information here? All increases or decreases. All increases or decreases can be written like this. All these are the increases and which are decreases. And all decreases are growth and all the decreases are what? All these decreases are growth and some of the growths are rises. Some growths are rises can be written like this. Some growths are rises. Now this is the basic diagram. With the help of this basic diagram, the first one is what? First one is a possibility. All rises are increases is a possibility. And the next one is some rises are decreases. Some of the rises are decreased. Rise is here and decrease here. There is no intersection between these two. And the second one is a definite conclusion does not follow. Then coming to the first one, it is a possibility. All rises are increases is possible or not? This entire rise can be written like this or not? Isn't it? Hence, first one is possible. Hence, only conclusion one follows that is choice four is the answer. Question number 67, it is choice four. Then coming to question number 68. Now in the 68, some of the bonds or pledges, some bonds or pledges can be written like this, 68. Some bonds or pledges can be written like this, bond and pledge, this is bond and this is pledge. Then, no pledge is a word, no intersection between this pledge and word, isn't it? Some of the bonds are pledges, no pledge is a word. Then first conclusion is a possibility. And second one, first one possibility, we can work out it afterwards. And the second one, all pledges are bonds. All pledges are, pledges are bonds is false because only some of the pledges are bonds but not all. Second conclusion does not follow. Then coming to the first one, all words or bonds is a possible. Now tell me whether we can draw this word like this or not. This word should not be intersected with the pledge, but where it can come into this bond. Hence, first conclusion is possible. Then what is your answer here? Only conclusion one is true. That is choice one. Question number 68, choice one. Then coming to question number 69. No question is an answer. 
No question is an answer can be written like this. There is no intersection between question and answer. No question is an answer. And the second statement, all replies are answers. All these are the replies which are answers. And the third statement, all questions are solutions. All these questions are what? All these questions are solutions. Then what is the first conclusion here? The first conclusion is no solution is an answer. No solution is an answer definitely true as of now. In the second one, no question is a reply. No question is a reply is also true. Isn't it? Hence, with the help of this basic diagram, both the conclusions are true. Now, as both the conclusions are true, now we need to go for an alternate diagram. Then what is the complementary pair to the first one? No solution is answer means. Now, we need to prove some of the solutions are answers. Some of the solutions are answers means tell me whether we can draw solution and answer like this or not. Whether we can extend like this or not. Now, sir, question and answer cannot be intersected, but this solution and answer can be intersected. And so alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then coming to the second conclusion, no question is a reply. Now to this one, no question is a reply. That means in order to make this one false, some of the questions are replaced. Tell me whether we can draw reply like this. If you draw reply like this, all replies are answers, answer will also come along this one. If answer comes along with this one, some of the answers or questions will be true. But as the statement is, no question is an answer. And statement will get invalid, alternate diagram cannot be drawn. In the second conclusion, true forever, that is choice two. Done with this? First conclusion, we can able to derive, we can able to draw the alternate diagram and the first conclusion is false. And for the second conclusion, we could not able to draw the alternate diagram. Hence, it will be true forever. Then question number 70, now 78. All increases are what? All increases are decreases. All these increases are a part of decreases can be written like this. All increases are decreases. All decreases are growth and all these decreases are what? All these decreases are growth can be written like this. And some of the growths are rises. Growth and rises should be intersected. Only some part of growth should be intersected. Then what is the first one here? No increase is a growth. No increase is a growth will be false because all increases are growth. No increase is a growth is definitely false. And coming to the second one, some rises are definitely not growth. As of now, some of the rises are not growth. These are the rises which are not growth is true. Isn't it? Hence, alternate first conclusion false, second conclusion is true. And the second one is a negative conclusion. As a negative conclusion is true, then in order to check this one, we need to prove its alternate diagram. What is a complementary pair? Some rises are not growth means now we need to prove all rises are growth. Tell me whether we can draw rises like this or not. Isn't it? As all the statements are affirmative, negative conclusion cannot be drawn. That means we can draw rises like this. If rises are like this, that means some rises are definitely not growth will be false because all rises are gross. Some rises are not gross is false. Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then what is your answer here? Neither one nor two. Neither one nor two that is given in choice three. Next one. Question number 71. Now in this question number 71, some beans are leaves, some of the beans are leaves can be written like this, some of the beans are leaves, some beans are leaves, and all leaves are roots, all these leaves, leaves are what? All leaves are roots, and no root is a plant, no, to, no root is a plant can be written like this. Now this is the basic diagram, with the help of this basic diagram, first conclusion, no plant is a leaf, true or false? No plant is a leaf is definitely true. And second one, some roots are been, some roots are been, is also true. Now both the conclusions are true. As both the conclusions are true between these two, the first one is a negative conclusion which is true. Hence we need to prove its alternate diagram. Tell me what is the complementary pair to this one? No plant is leaf means. Now we need to move some of the plants are leaves. Some plants are leaves means plant and leaves should be intersected. Now tell me whether we can draw like this some plant are leaf? No. If you draw plant like this, then what happens here? No. Now there is a negative statement, no root is a plant will be false. Statement invalid, alternate diagram cannot be done, hence this will be true forever. Hence both the conclusions are true. As both the conclusions true, tell me what is your answer here? Both one and two, that is given in choice one. Both one and two, it is choice one. Done with this? Now this is about question number 71. Then 72 onwards. Now question number 72 to 74, these three questions are based on blood relations. Now D is the mother of T, T is the sister of F, 
Now, D is the mother of whom? D is the mother of T can be written like this. D is the mother of T. T is the sister of F. T. A female is the sister of F. T and therefore the children of this D. Isn't it? T is the sister of F. F is the brother of J. Now this F is the brother of J which implies that all these three persons T, F and J are siblings to each other. F is the brother of J and all these three persons are the children of this D. K is married to J. K is married to J. K and J are married to each other. The genders of these two persons is not given. And B is the father-in-law of K. As B is the father-in-law of K, K's spouse's father is B. That means D and B are married couple. D is a female, B is a male. B is the father-in-law of K. B has only one son. As B has only one son, is none other than F. As F is the only son and this J is a female. As J is a female, then K is a male. U is the daughter of F. U is the daughter of F. And T is the mother of Y. T is the mother of Y means T is the, Y is the child of this T. T is the mother of Y. Done? Now this is how these persons can be related in this family tree. Question number 72. How is J related to Y? Tell me how is this J related to Y? Now the path from Y to J. Yes, tell me what is the path from Y to J? Y to T. Y's mother is T. Mother's sister. Mother's sister is aunt. Aunt that is given choice for. Then question number 73. How is Y related to D? How is this Y related to D? Now D's daughter is T and daughter's child. Daughter's child is grandchild. But as here, the gender of this Y is not known. If Y is a male, grandson, or if Y is a female, granddaughter will be your answer. But as the gender is not known, hence cannot be determined choice 5. Then question number 74. How is K related to D? Tell me how is this K related to D? D is daughter's husband. Daughter's husband is son-in-law, that is given in choice 1. Question number 72 to 74. The choices are 4, 5 and 1. Done with this? Then 75 onwards. Now question number 75 to 79. These five questions are based on coded inequalities. Then question number 75, the relation between Y and R. Y and R, tell me what is the letter which is common between these two? A is common. That means we need to move from R to A and A to Y. But as if you observe here between R and A, there are two opposite symbols and so no relation can be drawn. Isn't it? Then coming to the second conclusion, X and S. X and S, A and X, what is the relation here? A less than X, A less than X, and S is less than A. A less than X, S less than A. S less than A, A less than X. Then what is the conclusion here? S is less than X is true. As S is less than X is true, then X greater than S is also true. Then what is your answer here? Only conclusion 2 is true. That is choice 2. Done with this? Question number 75, choice 2. Then coming to question number 76, the relation between S and H. Now, between K and H, S is here and H is here. The letter which is common between these two is K is common. Now, between K and H, H must be like this, K greater than H. Then between S and H, there is one lesser than and one greater than two opposite symbols, and so no relation can be drawn between these two. Clear now? Hence, first conclusion cannot be drawn. Then coming to the second one, what is the second conclusion here? G and L. Now, L is here and G is here. What is the letter which is common here? K is common, isn't it? Now, G lesser than or equals to K. G lesser than or equals to K, K G and K greater than or equals to L. Now, between G and L, there is one lesser than and one greater than two opposite symbols between these two. Hence, no conclusion can be drawn between these two. Then what is your answer here? Neither one nor two. That is given in choice 5. Question number 76, it is choice 5. Then coming to question number 77. Now, the relation between T and E. Now, the relation between T and E lesser than or equals to lesser than means T lesser than E. E greater than T, definitely true. Then coming to the second one, R and U. R and U. Now, between R and U, there is one lesser than and there is one greater than two opposite symbols between these two. Hence, this also does not follow. Now, the second one does not follow. Hence, only conclusion one is true. That is choice 4. Question number 77, it is choice 4. Then, 78. Now, question number 78, the relation between C and I. I is here and C is here. The letter which is common is T is common. 
Now between I and T, what is the conclusion between I and T? I lesser than or equals to T, T lesser than or equals to C. That means I lesser than or equals to C is definitely true. That is C greater than or equals to I is also true. Then coming to the second conclusion M and P. P is here, M is here, the letter which is common between these two is O is common. Now P greater than O, M lesser than O means O greater than M. Now between P and M, P greater than M, M lesser than P is true, both the conclusions true. Both 1 and 2 that is given in choice 4. Question number 78, it is choice 4. Then question number 79, the relation between O and T. Now if you observe here both the conclusions are in between O and T only, then O is here and T is here, tell me what is the letter which is common here? T is common, isn't it? O and T. O is here and T is here between these two O and T. Tell me which symbol is common lesser than or equal to. That means what is the final conclusion we got? O is either lesser than or equal to T. Either it can be lesser than or it can be equal to. Hence either 1 or 2 that is choice 4. Done with this? Now this is about question number 75 to 79. Then 80 to 84. Now question number 80 to 84 these questions are based on Floor arrangement, A, B, C, D, X, Y, and Z are the seven people, live on seven different floors of a building but not necessarily in the same order. The lower most floor of the building is number one, the one above that is two, and so on till the top most floor is number seven. And each one of them is also participating in a different competition, namely art, banking, and craft, baking, craft, dance, debate, photography, and singing, and so on, isn't it? Now seven persons living on seven different floors, and they are and they're participating, participating in a different competition is also clearly given. Now we need to identify who is staying on which floor and he is and that person is participating in which competition. Now whenever the floor arrangement is given, first we need to fix the floors at the center, isn't it? Now 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, there are 7 floors in total and 7 persons are living in these 7 floors and they are participating in a different competition. Then condition number one. Yes, tell me what is condition number one here? C lives on floor number five. Yes, C lives on floor number five, C must be on fifth floor. C is living on floor number five. Only one person between C and Z. As only one person between C and Z, tell me how many possibilities do we have? Two possibilities. That means if C is on the fifth floor, Z will be on the, Z can be on the seventh floor or Z can be on the third floor. How many possibilities do we have? Two possibilities. As there are two possibilities, we are representing these two possibilities simultaneously. And the one who lives immediately below Z is participating in baking. Immediately below this, Z is baking. And similarly in second case also, immediately be below this, Z is baking. Hence, baking can be either on the sixth floor or on the second floor. This is the first and this is the second cases. And only three people live between A and the one who is participating in baking. Only three people between A and baking. Baking is here, one, two, three. Hence, A will be on the second. Now, in this one, one, two, three, A will be on the sixth floor. Only three people between A and the one who is participating in baking competition. The one who is participating in photography competition lives on an odd number floor. Photography is what? Photography is odd number floor. And, but neither immediately above or not immediately below A. Neither immediately above, neither immediately below A. Then tell me in the case of, in the first case, what could be the possibility of this photograph, photography? Photography cannot be on the first floor or cannot be on the third floor because one and three are adjacent to this A. And at the same time, five is, and five and seven are the things which are left over, isn't it? Hence, photography in first case can be either on the fifth floor or on the seventh floor. Are you following this one or not? The one who is participating in photography competition lives on an odd number floor, but neither immediately above nor immediately below A. Z is not participating in photography competition. Z not participating in photography, and photography cannot be seven as well. As photography cannot be seven, hence the person who is participating in photography must be on the fifth floor. Done with this? Are you following this one or not? One and three were ruled out. Now seven is also ruled out. Finally, we are left with seven. Then coming to case two, 
Now this photography cannot be on the seventh floor, cannot be on the fifth floor because both these two are adjacent to this A. Then hence photography can be either on the third floor or on the first floor. Out of which third is also not possible because third is Z. Z is not participating in photography. And this person who is participating in photography must stay on the first floor in case two. Done with this? And next one. Z is not participating in photography competition. Only four people live between the one who is participating in baking and art competition. Four people between baking and art competition, one, two, three, four. Hence, in the first case, the person who is participating in art competition must be on the first floor. And in the second case, one, two, three, four, the person who is participating in art must be on the seventh floor. Done with this? And only one person lives between D and X. How many persons are in between D and X? There is exactly one. And D lives on one of the floors above X. Between D and X, there must be exactly one person and D is staying above this X. Then tell me in the first case, how many possibilities do we, do we have? Now, if D is on the sixth floor, X can be on the fourth floor, that is one possibility. And what is the second possibility here? If D is on the D1, X1. If D is on the third floor, then X will be on the first floor, isn't it? And so we have some two possibilities in this one. And again in this one, in this one there is only one possibility because D is at this place, X is here. These are the only two alternate floors vacant. Only one person lives between D and X. D lives on one of the floors above X. D is participating neither in baking nor in debate competition. D baking is ruled out. As D baking is ruled out, D cannot be on the sixth floor. As D cannot be on the sixth floor, hence D must be on the third floor. If D is on the third floor, X must be on the first floor. And D does not participate in baking, isn't it? Baking and debate competition. Hence this D cannot be debate competition. And the person who is participating in debate cannot be on the third floor. Hence debate cannot be here. And this the debate cannot be at this place. Are you following this one or not? And D lives on one of the floors above X. D is participating neither in baking nor in neither in baking nor in debate competition. The one who is participating in debate competition lives immediately above the one who is participating in singing competition. Hence, debate and singing must be adjacent to each other. Out of which debate is immediately above the person who participates in singing. Hence, debate and singing must be like this. Then out of which, debate cannot be on the second floor. Now I am talking about case number one. Debate cannot be on the second floor because if debate is on the second floor, singing must be on the first floor, which is not possible. Debate cannot be on the second floor, debate cannot be on the third floor, and debate cannot be on the seventh floor. Then what is the only possibility left over here? Debate, the one who is participating in debate must be on the fourth floor, and the one who is participating in singing is staying in the third floor. Done with this, debate and singing. Then, coming to the next possibility here, debate, D cannot be debate, and debate and singing, and debate cannot be on the third floor as well, debate cannot be on the, debate cannot be, yes, what are the different possibilities here? Debate can be either 6 or 5 or 5 or 4, isn't it? How many possibilities we have? We have some two possibilities, debate and singing. The one participating in debate lives immediately above the one singing, C is not participating in singing. As C is not participating in singing, hence 6 and 5 in the second case is ruled out. Hence debate must be on the third, fifth floor and singing must be on the fourth floor. Here we got two possibilities to this debate, out of which one is ruled out because C cannot be singing. Done? And B is participating neither in photography nor in B, neither photography nor in baking, nor in debate competition neither photography nor in debate. Hence, in the first case, B cannot be on the fourth floor. As B cannot be on the fourth floor, then who will be on the fourth, sixth? Then B must be on the sixth floor. If B is on the sixth floor, then who is the person left over here? Y is the person left over. Y must be on the fourth floor. Then coming to the second case, now this B is participating neither in photography nor in debate. Neither photography nor in debate, B cannot be on the first floor. Hence, B must be on the seventh floor. If B is on the seventh floor, Y must be on the first floor. And the one who is participating in craft competition lives on one of the floors below the one photograph. Below the photography, there must be craft. The second case is ruled out because in the second case, the one who is participating himself is on the first floor. Isn't it? Hence, craft cannot be below this one. And this case is ruled out. Now, we need to identify 
now we are left with only the first case now in this one the craft is below this one if craft is here then what else is left over here dance competition and the person who is participating in dance is on the seventh floor clear now now till the last statement both the cases are valid with the help of the last statement only the second class got second case got invalid okay hence we need to work out these two simultaneously rather than fixing one of the arrangement done with this then question number 80 in which of the following competitions does C participate as C is participating in photography that is choice 2 and question number 81 who among the following lives on floor number 3 on floor number 3 tell me who is that person D D lives on floor number 3 and question number 82 which of the following combinations is true with respect to the given arrangement and singing X singing X between singing and X that is false debate Z debate Z that is also debate and Z that is false next one and art and D art and D that is also false and choice 4 craft and A craft and A that is definitely true then what is your choice choice 4 is the answer then question number 83 if all the people are made to sit in alphabetical order from top to bottom isn't the positions of how many people will remain unchanged top to bottom alphabetical order alphabetical order means now this must be A this is B this is C D X Y Z tell me how many persons remain in the same place first one is A and next one is B B remain at the same place the earlier case also B on the sixth floor now also B is on the sixth floor and C on the fifth floor now also C on the fifth floor and D cannot be on the fourth floor and X cannot be here Y cannot be here Z cannot be here then how many persons remain in the same place only two persons that is given choice for two persons B and C remain in the same floor and question number 84 which of the following statements is true with respect to the given arrangement only two people live between Z and A how many people lives between Z and A there are four people and the first one is false choice three the one who is participating in a craft competition lives on one of the floors above D craft is below this D but not above that is choice three is also ruled out then choice four X is participating in art competition that is definitely true choice five done with this now 80 to 84 and the choices are double two double four five are the choices two two four four five then let's write down this arrangement and the next one is coding and decoding 85 to 89 coding and decoding 85 to 89 as eighty five to eighty nine now in this one first to compare the first and the second statements if you compare these two reasoning requires much thinking and critical reasoning is tough tell me which word is common between these two reasoning is the only one word which is common as reasoning is common between these two tell me what is the code which is common here k g u c e n e n is the code which is common between these two. hence the code to the word reasoning is e n clear now reasoning is e n then compare the first and the third requires much thinking requires much thinking there is no word which is common between the first and the third isn't it requires much thinking then first one and the fourth one requires much thinking requires and thinking are the two words which are common here here also requires and thinking are the two words which are common as two words are common then two codes will be common isn't it requires and thinking then what are the codes which are common between these two tell me here now the two codes which are common between the first one and the fourth one are KG and TR TR and KG KG and TR in any order here the codes for the, the individual codes for these words cannot be identified because two words and two codes are common hence KG and TR then what happened to the first one here now in the first statement only one word is left over that is much and only one code UC is left over hence the code to the word much is UC much is UC then compare the second and the third statements critical is tough and tough and critical now what are the words which are common here here also there are two words which are common critical and tough here also tough and critical as two words are common and so two codes will be common and the codes for these the codes for the individual words cannot be identified here and so critical and tough as what are the codes to these two the codes to these two could be critical and tough and I QL, NIQL, NIQL in any order. 
Ni and QL. Then in the second one, in the second statement, what is our left over here is, and the code which is left over is HA, and the code to the word is is HA is HA. Then compare the third and the fourth. End and situation are the two are the two words. And situation is the word which is common between the third and the fourth. As situation is common, then tell me what is the code common between these two? ST. And the code to the word situation is ST. If situation is ST, then what is left over here? And is left over. And the code to the word and is RA. And in the fourth statement, adverse is left over. And tell me what is the code to this word adverse? Adverse is LA. Isn't it? Now these are the words and their corresponding codes. Then question number 85, what is the code for the word critical? Tell me here. The code for the critical can be either NI or QL in any order that is choice for. And 86, what is the code for the word situation? Situation, the code is ST. ST that is given in choice 3. 87, in the given code language, what does the code KG stands for? KG stands for what? Either requires or thinking. Either requires or thinking that is choice 2. 88, what may be the possible code? Maybe. Maybe means it is a possible code. Maybe the possible code for this is much. Now, this is much, much can be coded as UC and is is coded as HA, isn't it? HA and UC should be present. And this is nowhere given in the words. Now, the code to this word, this could be any of the codes other than the given codes, isn't it? Hence, HA, UC, choice one cannot be your answer. Choice 2 cannot be your answer. Choice 3 cannot be your answer. Now we are left with either choice 4 or choice 5. Out of which, H A U C tell me whether GY is the code to the word. GY could be the code to the word. This or not? Yes. Why? Because GY is nowhere present in this one. Hence, this can be the code to the word. This. Hence, what is your answer here? Choice 4. Then if you take out, take out choice 5, H A U C E N can UN be the code for, can EN be the code for this? No. Why? Because the code for reasoning is EN. Hence, it cannot be the code for this. Hence, the choice 5 is ruled out. Now, we are left with only choice 4. Then, coming to question number 89. What will be the code for adverse reasoning? Reasoning, the code to the word reasoning is EN and adverse is LA. Hence, the code is LA, EN in any order. That is choice 5. Done with this? Now this is about question numbers 85 to 89. Then 90 to 94. Question numbers 90 to 94. Now in this one it is based on a row arrangement. Eight friends A, B, C, D, W, X, Y, and Z are seated in a straight line. Facing towards north is clearly given. All the persons are facing towards north and but not necessarily in the same order. D sits four to the left object, isn't it? D sits four to the left object. How many persons are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight persons. And these eight persons are facing towards north. D sits four to the left of Z, isn't it? D sits four to the left of whom? Z. Neither D nor Z sits at an extreme end of the row, isn't it? And neither D nor Z sits at an extreme end of the row. Now, first we need to draw the different possibilities. As D sits four to the left of Z, as all these persons are facing towards north, their left hand side is towards our left hand side. Hence, where should this Z? Z must be here. Then only D should support through the left of Z is valid. And this is the first possibility. Then what is the second possibility we can have? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now in this one, D should support through the left of Z. D is on the third floor and 4 through the left of Z, Z must be on the seventh place. Clear enough? D should support through the left of Z. Neither D nor Z sits at an extreme end of the line. And W sits second to the right of Y. Now this W sits second to the right of Y can be written like this. And Y is not an immediate neighbor of D. Now see here. Y cannot be at this place and Y cannot be at this place. As Y cannot be in these two places, tell me in the first case, can Y be here? If Y is here, then Z and W must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, Y cannot be here as well. Can Y be at this place? Y cannot be at this place. Y cannot be at this place because Second to the right hand side of Y must be W, which is not possible. Hence, Y cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, and so on. Hence, what is the only possibility left to this Y? Y must be to the immediate left hand side of Z, and W will be here. Are you following this one or not? Then coming to case 2. 
Now this y is not an immediate neighbor of D. Hence y cannot be adjacent to whom? Y is not an, y cannot be adjacent to D. Then out of which y cannot be here as well because if y is here at the first place then W and D must be in the same place not possible. And y cannot be here as well because if y is here W and Z must be in the same place which is not possible. Hence y cannot be at the last place as well because second to the right hand side of y must be W which is not possible. Then what is the only possibility? y is to the immediate left hand side of z and w must be here. Done with this, y, z and w must be together. And only three people sit between w and b. Between w and b, tell me how many people are there? There must be exactly three people in between w and b. As there are only three people between w and b, tell me where should this be? b is 1, 2, 3. B is to the immediate right hand side of this D because there must be exactly three persons between W and B. Now in the second case between W and B, 1, 2, 3, hence B is to the immediate right hand side of D here as well. There are three people in between W and D. Next one. Three people are in between W and D. A is an immediate neighbor of X. As A is an immediate neighbor of X, A and X are adjacent to each other. Now in the first case, if you observe here, A cannot be here because X cannot be adjacent to A. Here also A cannot be here, here also A cannot be here. And the first case is completely ruled out because there are no two adjacent to vacant places for these two persons, A and X. Then coming to the next one, A is an immediate neighbor of X. If A is here, X will be here. Or if A is here, X will be here. Then who is the person left over here? Why? And C is the person left over, C will be at this place. And A is an immediate neighbor of X, only two people between A and C. As only two people between A and C, as C is here, then A will be here. If A is here, X will be here. Then what is the final arrangement? X, A, D, B, C, Y, Z, W is the order in which these eight persons are seated in this row and they are facing towards north. Then question number 90. Which of the following pairs represent the persons seated at the two extremes of the line? Two extreme ends of the line. Tell me who are those two persons? W and X. W and X, that is choice one. 91. How many persons are seated between Y and D? Between Y and D, tell me how many persons are there? There are two persons, B and C, that is choice two. And question number 92. What is the position of A with respect to B? Position of A with respect to B is second to the left hand side. Second to the left hand side, that is choice one. Who among the following sit exactly between C and A? Exactly between C and A, tell me who are the persons in between C and A. B and D are the two persons given in choice one. Question number 94, based on the above arrangement, which among the following is definitely true with respect to C? C sits to the immediate right of Y. C sits to the immediate right of Y. True or false? C is to the immediate right hand side of Y is false because C is to the immediate left hand side of Y. And only one person between C and B is false because there is no person between C and B. And choice four, both D and W are immediate neighbors of C. Both D and W are immediate neighbors of C is false because B and Y are immediate neighbors of C. C sits at one of the extreme ends of the line. That is also false because C is exactly at the center of the line. Isn't it? Hence, what is your answer here? None of the given choices is true. That is choice three. 92, 94, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3 are the choices to these five questions. Clear? Let's write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this 95 to Now question numbers 95 to 99. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q are the eight persons seated around a circular table and with equal distance between each other but not necessarily in the same order. Some of the people are facing the center while some of the people are facing away from the center. Now in this one, how many persons are facing towards the center and how many are away from the center that is not clearly given. But whereas some of them are inward and some of them are outward. And in these type of questions wherein some of the persons are inward and some of the persons are outward is given. First we need to check out whether any person is facing towards the center or away from the center is given or not. Isn't it? Now first eight persons. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट देन कनिष्ठ नंबर वन जे सिट्स द सेकंड टू द राइट ऑफ के के फेसेस द सेंटर क्लियरली गिवन एस के इज फेसिंग द सेंटर नाउ आई एम फिक्सिंग के एट दिस प्लेस इफ के इज हियर देन जे सिट्स द सेकंड टू द राइट ऑफ के जे मस्ट बी एट दिस प्लेस जे सिट्स द सेकंड टू द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ के एज ऑफ नाउ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस जे इज नॉट नोन इजेंट जे कैन बी इधर इनवर्ड और आउटवर्ड एंड ओनली टू पीपल बिटवीन जे एंड एन as there are only two people between j and n how many possibilities do we have two possibilities either left hand side of j or right hand side of j hence the second possibility 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now k is facing the center j sits a second to the left, right of k and two persons between j and n n can be here as well done with this there are two possibilities in this and only two people between j and n l sits a second to the right of p whatever this l l is seated second to the right of p and p is neither an immediate neighbor of n nor j and p cannot be an immediate neighbor of n nor j means p cannot be here and p cannot be here and p cannot be here isn't it then what are the possibilities we have left here if p can be here or p can be here there are two possibilities isn't it if p is here then whatever this l l sits second to the right of p then l will be here P1, L1. Or if P is here, P is here, then L will be here. There are two possibilities. Hence, I have represented this P, the first possibility with one and one, second possibility with two and two. P1, L1, or P2, L2. And again, in this one, in the second case, now this P is neither an immediate neighbor of P is neither an immediate neighbor of N nor J. Hence, P cannot be here, cannot be here, and cannot be here, and cannot be here as well. Hence, P cannot be in any one of these seven places. Then where should this P? P must be here only. If P is here, then whatever this L and L sits second to the right of P, L must be here. As L sits second to the right of P, P must be towards the center only. Clear now? Now in the second case, we are getting only one possibility to this P. And M sits second to the left of L. As M sits second to the left of L, now is here. If P is here, now I am talking about the first, in the first case. If P is here, then L will be here. If L is here, then M sits second to the right hand left of L. M must be either in this place or in this place, which is not possible. Are you following this one or not? If P is at this place, then L will be here. If L is here, M must be second to the left hand side of L, which is not possible. Then M must be either in the place of K or in the place of P. as it is not possible the second case in this one is not possible now we are left with only one case are you following this one or not hence where should this p p must be here only now as p is here p at this place then whatever this l l sits second to the right of p hence l will be at this place as l is at this place then what is the direction of this p p must be away from the center clear now In the first case, P is away from the center, and in the second case, P is towards the center. Then, P is neither an immediate neighbor of N nor J. M sits second to the left hand side of L. As M sits second to the left of L, M must be in this place. Then, L is towards the center. Then only M sits second to the left of L is valid. And in this one, M sits second to the left of L, M must be here. Then this L must be away from the center. Are you following or not? M sits second to the left of L. N and M face opposite directions. Now this N as well as M are facing opposite directions. N and M opposite directions. Now I am representing like this. N and M opposite directions. N immediate neighbors of L face opposite. L's neighbors opposite. L's neighbors. L's neighbors opposite direction. Now this is the next information. N immediate neighbors of L faces opposite directions. Q faces the same direction as L. Q and L are facing the same direction. Now Q and L are facing the same direction, equal to immediate neighbors of P face the same direction. P's neighbors, P's neighbors facing the same direction. Immediate neighbors of P are facing the same direction. O sits a thought to the left of M. As O is seated thought to the left hand side of M, and O is not an immediate neighbor of N. O cannot be here. Total. Distance is 30 meters. Out of which C and D equals to 15, and this is also equals to 15 because C is exactly between D and E. Done with this. 
and point D is to the north of point E. Then what is the question here? And how far and in which direction is point E from point B? Now we need to identify this E, the distance between this E and B and E is towards which direction? As this is equal to this one and this is 20 meters towards which one? Towards west. And so 20 meters west that is given in choice 2. Question number 100, it is choice 2 is the answer. Done with this? Then, number series, question numbers 41 to 45. Now, in this question numbers 41 to 45. Now, question numbers 41 to 45. Now, question number 41, if you observe here, 41. 190, 94. 190, 94, 46, 22 and so on. Now the numbers are, numbers are decreasing. Whenever the numbers are decreasing, whenever the numbers are decreasing, we should always go in the reverse order, isn't it? Now 22 and 46, how can you express this one? 22 into 2 is 44, plus 2 is 46, 46 into 2, 92, plus 2 is 94, 94 into 2, 188, plus 2 is 190, into 2 plus 2, into 2 plus 2, into 2 plus 2, and something into 2 plus 2 must be 22. Hence, this must be 10. 10 into 2 plus 2 is 22. What is the missing number here? 10 is the missing number that is given in choice 2. Done with this? Then question number 42, 123, 140, 106, 157, 89. Earlier we had discussed about this one. Whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, we should opt for, we should go for alternate series. Now, find out the alternate here, 123 and 106. What is the difference between these two? Minus 17. Next one, 106 and 89. What is the difference? Again, minus 17. Alternate numbers differ by 17. And similarly, the second number in this one, 140 and 157. What is the difference here? Plus 17. And the next one must also be plus 17. 157 plus 17. And it is how much? 174 choice 5. First number, third number, fifth, fifth number, minus 17, minus 17, and so on. Second, fourth, six, plus 17, plus 17. Hence, whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, you should always go for alternate series. Okay? Two series will be given, combinedly given as a single series. Then question number 43, 8, 4, 6. Now, 8, starting with 8 and ending with 236, as the numbers are increasing at a very faster rate, then tell me what is the, then how to opt for this one, 8 and 4. 4 can be written as 8 into 0.5 is 4. 4 into 1.5 is 6. Into 0.5 into 1.5, next one into 2.5. And next one is how much? Into 3.5. 15 into 3.5 is how much? 45 plus 7.5, that is 52.5 choice 5. The next one must be 52.5 into 4.5. 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5 and so on. And that will be 236. Question number 43, choice 5. These numbers are multiplied with 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5 and so on. Then question number 44. Now in this question number 44, the difference between the numbers. What is the difference here? The difference is 0. Here the difference is how much 6? Minus 0, minus 6. Here 314 and 290 can be written as minus 24. And the next difference between these two is 60. Yes, tell me what are these numbers? 0, 6, 24 and cube minus n. This 0 can be written as 1 cube minus 1. And this 6 can be written as? 6 can be written as? 2 cube minus 2, 6 is 2 cube minus 2, and next one, and 24 can be written as 3 cube minus 3, 60 can be written as 4 cube minus 4, and the next one is 5 cube minus 5. What is 5 cube minus 5? 120. Now 120 should be subtracted from this 230. If you subtract 120 from this one, then what is your answer here? 23 minus 1 is 11, that is 110, choice 5 is the answer. Done with this? Choice 5. The difference between the numbers are what? n cube minus n. 1 cube minus 1, 2 cube minus 2, 3 cube minus 3, 4 cube minus 4, 5 cube minus 5. Then question number 45, 3, 4, 9. Now if you observe here the choices, 640 and so on. And the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, go for combination. 3 into 1 plus 1 and 4 into 2 is 8 plus 1. 9 into 3, 27 plus 1. And 28 into 4 is so much. 56, 56, 112 plus 1 will be 113. 113 into 5 plus 1. 113 into 5, 565 plus 1, 566. That is choice 4 is the answer. Done with this? 
Now this is about paper number 26, question numbers 41 to 45 and 66 to 100. Done? And the next is quant.